Hey guys! Do you want to build a great cake? It's all the match of goodness you can take. So come on now, let's have fun step by step. Hello! Welcome! Mabuhay! Suwagi ka! Welcome to Basic Bakery Naglamas. Today, I'm with my student and little sister, Thira. Alright guys, let's start. Since I said this is a step-by-step, step, first we'd want to make our whipping cream for the filling of our matcha crepe cake. So just add one cup of whipping cream and gradually add one half cup of white sugar. Again, be sure to chill your metal bowl and your electric meters first before using to ensure stiffness of your cream. Like this peak stage. You will need these ingredients for making the crepe cake. Now sift your dry ingredients, flour goes first, you can use your spatula for easier sifting and to help the flour go inside that mixture. Alright, the next is your sugar, sift, sift, sift. Now I have my assistants, my little assistants. And then your matcha powder. I use the thigh brand matcha powder, whatever you have. Just make sure it's not too bitter or else just adjust according to your preference or your taste. After the dry ingredients, just stir them well with your whisk. Make a well at the center. And then add your wet ingredients, your six large eggs your water your milk and just carefully mix them mix 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 Just keep on mixing, keep it going until it's smooth. And guess what? We forgot to put the salt, so we just go ahead and put on the salt. Then add your vanilla. This is for flavoring and it smells good too. To ensure that our batter or mixture is smooth, I would just want to sieve it and just carefully and slowly, gradually add the mixture a few cups at a time, maybe about a one-fourth cup at a time because my sieve is small. Then just with a spatula, helped it to sieve fast. The matcha that I used doesn't have enough green of a color that I want. So I just added a little food coloring just to have the oomph green matcha color theme. But if you don't like it, don't put. And then just let this sit at the fridge for one hour. So this has been sitting for more than an hour. Give it a final stir and then we're ready to cook them. So I was glad that we found a conduction cooker. So just set it at 100 degrees Celsius frying. 
that's the only setting I knew that could work and I'll just wait that to be hot enough and I will just be putting a little oil be sure to coat all the sides of the pan this is a Teflon nonstick pan but I would just want to add oil if you want butter instead of oil to add flavor go ahead and do so nothing's stopping you I think it's gonna be more delicious but this one works so that's what I went for <laughs> Add about one fourth cup of batter. I just dunk them in the pan and just swirl it around and round and round until you're able to make a round looking crab cake. <laughs> And then just wait until the sides aren't sticky in the pan and you're going to see some bubbles that means your crab cake is ready to flip but please don't force if it doesn't come off remember we put oil so it should easily come off the pan So at this point, I was sure it was ready to be flipped and I'm a little scared and I got a help from Pimo. Thank you Pimo! But that was so hot, so be careful guys. If you have a big spatula or something to flip the crib, that would be better option than using your hands. The bok part should be easy to cook, maybe about just one minute, just iron it so that it won't be burned. These are our final products, we're down to our last 16th crepe. I'm just piling up the crepes, uh, about 10 pieces. I made sure that it's at the center so that it would be easy for cutting. Just using a bowl slightly smaller than my crepes, I just cut in the edges, just trying to follow the shape of this bowl. So I did not let the kids help me in cutting because we know that knife can be dangerous. If your kids would want to do it, just don't forget to supervise them well. This is what we're looking for. As you can see, the sides are clean cut. We're ready to assemble the crepe cake so in here I'm just putting frosting like a glue on the same plate and then I will just put a dollop of whipping cream don't go too overboard or too much filling in there just right is okay after which just put on or pile on another crepe and so on until you reach your last crab. In this, I just put 10 pieces. Pieces? <laughs> you can put as much as crab as you want. However, I just left 6 crabs so that I can show you how to make simpler ones or if you're lazy to pile up on all those crabs or if you have many visitors after the quarantine, you can serve this per piece. Just clean up the edges with your spatula 
and make sure your crepes are centered. Now I'm just sprinkling some matcha powder at the top of our crepe cake so it will be prettier. At this point, we're almost done, but not just yet. I will just insert some toothpick to ensure that my matcha crepe will not fall apart inside the fridge. Chill it for two hours. So this is just another way on how to fix your crepes in case you don't want to make a cake. Put on the filling and you can put some strawberries Blueberries, chocolate, marshmallows, anything you would want. So I just went and put some cream. You can be fancier than this. You can use your 1M Wilton tip to pipe it and then just dusting it with matcha powder. Went on and add some matcha sauce for additional matcha flavor and it will look better. So we go back to our main cake. This has been in the fridge for more than two hours. So just cut it as you wish. For me, I would want to cut it the traditional way. For decoration, I'm using my one icing tip. I just put it in a disposable pastry bag and I will just cup it in my hand like this. Of course, I will just put a decent amount of whipping cream because I only need a little bit for my decoration. Twist the pastry bag like so and the pressure will come from your palm as you're going to squeeze the cream out of the bag. Now because of the matcha powder, I needed some help using my fingers to help it stay put onto the design that I would want to do. Now I just put some pokey matcha sticks because why not? The more matcha flavor, the merrier. So finally, ladies and gentlemen, we are done and our matcha creep cake slices look so amazing. And most importantly, they taste really good. Thank you so much for watching Basic Bakery in the Glamas. If you want more recipes or some basic stuff, so please let me know. And if you haven't like and subscribe to my channel please do so again thank you remember god loves you and